we've set up here um, a simple experiment to show the importance of the perpendicular distance when taking moments. We've got a beam here with a smooth pivot at the centre, um, a mass which is suspended here, it's a 300 gram mass which exerts a vertical force on the ruler at that point. We've got another 300 gram mass here which exerts a force at an angle on the ruler through that piece of string. Now what I want to do is to measure the distance to that point there. So from the pivot to the point of suspension is uh, 28 centimetres. So that's the distance that we would use to calculate the moment of that force. Now if we look at this distance here between the centre of the pivot and measuring it perpendicularly to the line of action or the string we can see that that distance is also 28 centimetres. So when we calculate moments it is not the distance between the point at which the force i.e. the tension is applied to the ruler but the perpendicular distance between the pivot or the point about which we take moments and the line of action of the force. If I move this mass slightly to the left you can see that it is no longer in equilibrium and if I move it slightly to the right you can see that it moves the other way and if we go back to where we started you can see that it remains nicely in equilibrium.